everyone. I'm Pedro. I'm from the Federal University. I'm going to present my research about the internet resource allocations, insights, trends, and lessons. This research is research is supported by LACNIC, and so I'm very thankful for LACNIC for supporting my research. First, I would like to apologize for not being in Panama to present this work, but because of some climate disaster in South Brazil, the situation was a bit chaotic here, airports closed, so I wasn't able to travel to Panama to present this research, but here I am presenting it virtually, so sorry for that. So let's start talking about the goal of this research and the context of this research. So we are going to talk about uh, the research numbers of the internet because every network and every device on the internet should have uh, a resource number and someone needs to manage those numbers and that's IENA. You are probably familiar with IENA. And below IENA, we have like five other, five other uh, entities that are helping managing the resource space. That is APNIC, ARIN, RIPE, NCC, AFRINIC, and LACNIC. Each one is a regional internet registry responsible for some region of the globe. And depending of the size of the country, for example, there could be other uh, registries like the Brazilian one or the Mexican one that are responsible for managing the resources in a given country. So here we have this map where we show the coverage area of each of the RIRs, where ARIN is in North America, LACNIC is in Latin America, AFNIC in Africa, RIPE NCC Euro Europe and part of Asia, and APNIC Asia and Pacific region. And as of today, what one thing that those RIRs have done is that they allocated a lot of resources, include, including 160,000 ASNs, 3.6 billion IPv4 addresses, and 35 times 10 to the 8, 18 billion IPv6 addresses. And Ideally, we would expect that all of these resources are in use by the net the ASs and visible in the routing table, right? Well, that's what we would expect, but it's not what's happening. In fact, today, approximately 17% of the allocated IPv4 addresses and 35% of the ASNs are not visible in the global routing table. And in this talk, we want to understand what exactly is happening, because while I know that we are transitioning to IPv6, we still depend on IPv4. So understanding the use of IPv4 resources is important. We also need to ensure that we are making good use of the resources to the health of the internet ecosystem and finally we can learn from what happened to ipv4 resources to make good decisions allocations for ipv6 in the future so that's why we are doing this research and in this research we are going to focus on six different analyses the first one is about the allocation of the resources, so the number of the resources allocated, the number of requests for resource allocation, the median size <coughs> of those requests. Then we are going to investigate the visibility of the resources over the years. And while we were doing that, we identified a lot of not allocated resources being used by some ASs, so we also analyzed that. Then we, the next part of our, our work is about investigating. Since our resource is allocated, how long does it take to an AS to use that resource? It's one month, two months, one year. What's happening? 
how long is it taking for using then for each organization we analyze the percentage of the resources that that organization is using are the organizations using all resources the majority of the resources and finally we analyze the transfers of resources between organizations and for all of those analyses we are going to rely on some data sources including the allocation piles provided provided by the rirs and also using routing data from route views and rivalries. Also, we use the transfer files from the RDRs. And for the most of our analysis, we relied on data from 2013 to 2024. So starting with the first analysis that is more basic one about the allocation of the resources. We have here the results for the allocations of ASNs over time, considering the number of allocated resources per year. So for each of the regions, there is one line, plus there is one line for the entire internet, which is the blue one. We can see that overall the number of resources allocated per year is increasing while the behavior of each of the regions is more or less stable but we can observe a bit of more uh, resources being allocated over the years and a similar behavior is also observed by the number of requests to allocate resources because one request may uh, comprise more than one resource so, for example, in the peak we have uh, 6, 000, approximately 6,000 requests, but 12,000 uh, ASNs allocated. So, more than one ASN per request. And similarly, we analyzed this behavior for IPv4 addresses, the total number of addresses allocated per year, also number of requests, and here, as expected, that sometime uh, um, like 10 years ago, more or less, we started running out of uh, IPv4 addresses. So we can observe like a decrease in the number of IPv4 addresses allocated by year. But we also observe that the number of requests is more or less stable over time. It's, we have some variation over the years, but the number is similar. So in one of the following slides, we are going to observe that the number of requests is more or less the same, but this number of resources that are being granted by requests is smaller. And similarly, we analyzed that as well for IPv6, and as expected, the number of addresses allocated per year is increasing in most of the regions. There is this drop in 2024, but that's because we are considering data up to April only, because it's where we are at this moment. But in general, the number of resources allocated are increasing, and the number of requests is increasing as well. And we can also observe that the number of requests started growing before the decrease in the number of requests for IPv4. So before we start running out of IPv4 addresses, network started uh, requesting IPv6 addresses. And here, as I mentioned before, we have like the median allocation size for IPv4 and IPv6, while we can observe that for IPv4, the median allocation size is smaller, like the y-axis we have like the slash something of the prefix. So com currently we are around slash 23, 24. And in the past it was around slash 29, uh, 19 and 20. 
but for IPv6 there is uh, stability for some regions in the other the size is increasing and in the other the size is decreasing so it's region dependent for IPv6 regarding our second analysis that is about uh, the visibility of the resources over time we performed this analysis for IPv4 and for ASNs. Here, first for ASNs, we can observe that for the entire set of resources, the ASN resource that we have over time, it's between 70 and 75% of visibility, where for IPv4 addresses is around 75 and 82% but independently of the number of allocated resources because the number of resources allocated is growing the visibility is more or less the same so we always have like this around 17 or 20 percent of not visible ipv4 addresses and 25 percent of or 35 percent of not visible asns but one thing that's important to highlight here is that the region where we have the visibility of most resources is LACNIC. So this means that the networks from the LACNIC region are, make, are making a better use of the resources that are being granted to the ASs. But as I mentioned before, when we started analyzing the visibility of the, uh, the resources, we also identified a lot of not allocated resources being used. So we decided to first check how many not allocated resources are visible for each of our snapshots, and also how many ASs are responsible for originating those resources. And here we have the number of slash 24 IPv4 prefixes that are not allocated but visible. And we can see that this number is increasing over time. So it seems that networks are using resources that they should not use and that the main regions responsible for those announcements are ripe and ARI. And for the number of unique ASNs originating uh, those IPv4 prefixes, it's again the number of ASs doing that is increasing over time. But one thing that it's quite good that we mentioned here is that LACNIX, the region responsible for the smallest amount of bugs. So LACNIC is doing, there is only a small number of IPv4 prefixes that are not allocated being announced at the LACNIC region or better by ASs from the LACNIC region. If I remember cor correctly, there are only five ASs in the LACNIC region originating bottom prefixes in our snapshots. So this is a really good job from you guys. And then our next analysis is about the evol evolution of the use of the resources by the allocation year. First year, we have the results for the entire internet. And again, we are going to show the results for ASNs and then for IPv4 prefixes. First, for ASNs, we have one line for each allocation year and then on the x-axis, we have the behavior of the resources that were allocated in that year over time. And we can see that until 2020, the resources at the allocation year, the visibility of the resources in the first year was around 60%. And after two, three years, it was around 70, 75%. But for the more recent years, the visibility of the resource is, is smaller. So this is something that intrigued us and we need to investigate a bit more why this is happening. We can also observe that over the time, there is like, it seems that there are 
resources that are not visible anymore because there is a small decreasing pattern of the visibility of the ASNs. It seems like, for example, networks that are not uh, working anymore or they, they were merged with other ASs, so that's why we are not seeing the resources anymore. And here we have for IPv4, and we can see that over time, the fraction of visible addresses allocated that are visible in the first year of allocation is decreasing. And this is also intriguing, like the ASs are request, requesting IPv4 addresses, but it seems that they are not using, or at least not using for routing, publicly routing. And again, we still need to investigate that. But another interesting thing that we should highlight here is the behavior on the LACNIC region, because we can, if we compare with the previous plots, we can see that we have these two sets of uh, lines, but that the fractions in the LACNIC region are higher, which means that in the LACNIC region, the ASs are, the organizations are using faster than resources that they are being granted, either for ASNs and for IPv4 addresses, because we can see that even for like the recent allocations, the fraction that is visible in the first year is quite higher than compared to the entire internet. So again, guys, great job. And our Second last analysis is about uh, the utilization degree of the resources by each organization. And here for 2024, we have one line for each of the regions plus one line for the entire internet. And what we can see in this plot is the fraction, the utilization rate ratio for the resources of a given organization. What we can learn from here is that approximately 62% of the organizations of the internet use all the resources that are allocated to that uh, organization. But there is approximately 20% that are not publicly using none of the, any of the resources. And that uh, the organizations from LACNIC are the ones with the highest utilization degree. For example, we can observe that approximately 87% of the LACNIC uh, organizations are using all the resources that they were granted, the IPv4 prefixes that they were granted. So again, guys, you are doing a great job using the resources. And our last analysis is about the transfer of resources from one region to the other or between two organizations from the same region. And we are going to show the results for the ASNs and then the results for IPv4 prefixes. So we have like the five IRRs and each cell will show the number of ASNs that were transferred from one RIR to the other. Things that we can infer from here that for Afrinic and LACNIC, the transfer of ASNs happened only inside the region, but for the other three RIRs, the transfers were among them and not with Afrinic neither. LACNIC, uh, but that for ASNs, the most common case is that this transfer happens between two organizations from the same region. And for uh, and th this is quite expected because we are not running out of ASNs, so that's okay for transfer inside the same region. But for IPv4 prefixes, as we were running out of IPv4 prefixes, this is uh, a bit different. It's interesting to 
identify that for Afrenic, all the transfers from IP default prefixes were inside the Afrenic region, but among all the other four regions, we have transfers for all pairs of regions. But again, the most common case, case is a transfer of resources between two, two organizations from the same region. And here, one question that also arises in these moments is that, okay, we are transferring resources, but are these transfer resources being used by the new owners? And the answer for that question is that approximately 24% of the transferred resource IPv4 addresses were not visible in our data sets after the transfer. So ASs are getting new resources, new IPv4 addresses, but it seems that they are not using it right now, or at least they are not using it for global routing. So in summary, what we can tell about this research is that we first analyze the allocation process of the resources and there is an increase in the allocation of the resources, but the size of the V4 allocations is decreasing and in our regions and for V6, the behavior is dependent on the region. Regarding the stability, the visibility of the uh, resources, it's a uh, diffraction is stable despite the increasing number of resources. And resources from LACNIC region are the most visible ones. Regarding resources that are not allocated, the number is increasing over time, but at LACNIC region, the fraction, the number of uh, bogon ASNs among IPv4 products being originated is the smallest one among all the regions. The time to reach approximately 90% of the utilization of the resource from a given year is approximately three years, but for newer allocations, it seems to take longer and we need to do a, a deeper investigation to understand the reasons for that. But in LACNIC region, the process is quite faster compared to the other regions. Also regarding the fraction of the resources that are being used by the organization, 75% of the organizations are using at least half of the IPv4 addresses, but in LACNIC this number is approximately 90% of the organization. So again, very good uh, uh, use of the resources at uh, the LACNIC region. And finally, regarding the transfers, most of the transfers are happening within the same RIR. And regarding the IPv4 addresses that were transferred from one organization to the other, approximately 24% of those resources are not visible in the global routing table in our recent data sets. So I hope that this was an interesting talk to you. And now I'm more than happy to take your questions. Feel free to ask in Portuguese, English, or Spanish, and I will do my best to answer your questions. Thank you.